Hello and welcome back to the port. I'm the Gap Major and this is Amateur Reports. Amateur Reports is your gameplays with my commentary. And today we have a submission from Brothers Russian who's playing in the Tier 6 British Light Cruiser HMS Fiji. Now this is a Tier 5 and 6 game of Capture the Base on Trident in Airstrike Mode. So it's interesting to actually see a submission from Airstrike Mode. And uh, therefore what that means is obviously yes there's a carrier on each side but also there's a mix of Players and AI. Now, in this case, there's only two AI ships per team. So, on the enemy team, uh, player wise, they've got a Jervis, a Nuremberg, a York, a Sorian division with the Ranger, an Indianapolis, and an Atlanta. And then uh, AI wise, they have a Chapard and a Nuremberg. On the friendly team, uh, player wise, Nuremberg, York, Algeria, Cheshire, Rose Russian, Fiji, uh, New Orleans, Ranger, and then AI wise, two Chapards. So, uh, looks like at the moment he's uh, playing his flank and he's uh, come across the AI Nuremberg, the player York, and the player Jervis. And judging by the, the aircraft that we can see, um, whether or not that potentially means that there's a uh, carrier working in this vicinity. So, um,. The interesting one with there obviously being uh, AI players and standard and normal players, I guess you could say, is that um, obviously you end up with the AI charging in, going guts or glory, while the uh, players are almost uh, dealing with these situations that are happening around them. Now uh, he's able to mop up the York here, um, but he has laid the smoke screen and accidentally outrun it. Uh, however, he's backing up into it. The friendly Japan is now gone, unfortunately, but he does have friendly spotting from the friendly cruiser to the east of his position. Now he's so close to the uh, Nuremberg that Nuremberg is actually keeping him spotted while firing in smoke. However, thankfully he's in a position that he can't exactly be completely picked out on, although it look, would appear that there's a flight of torpedo aircraft in the vicinity. Mopping up the Nuremberg very nicely. Now we know there shouldn't be any torpedoes in the water because Nuremberg used those torpedoes to take out the uh, friendly Japard. And there's an Indianapolis, and it looks like the Jervis has got a chain smoke build because he's managed to um, lay another smoke screen already. Now, Indianapolis, uh, she's an uh, American heavy cruiser, she's got 8 inch guns, she can really hurt you, and she also has a pretty decent radar, so she could pick you out in your smoke screen. Not that's going to matter because your smoke screen's only got about 15 seconds left or 10 seconds left moment but you're really punishing the Indianapolis because she's showing a hell of a lot of broadside to, to you I don't know why she's decided to push out into that position she's very tunnel visioned into uh, your friendly cruiser Jervis is now showing his hand so uh, see if we can get some British AP down range onto that Jervis nice one about the uh, armor piercing of the uh, light cruisers is it's very universal uh, due to its short fuse it pretty much hurts anything it hits normally. Finishing off the Indianapolis, getting our third kill, very nice. Only had to go up against one AI player as well. Jervis is laying another smoke screen. Uh, it's quite interesting to see a uh, Fiji being played in uh, such an open water manner, um, however. Uh, each their own, I guess you can say. Um, when it comes to the uh, command build that he's taken, he's taken uh, Bruce Fraser, uh, level 11, legendary 1. Traits are beyond range, home run, punch through, steer clear and fully packed. And the inspirations are Mikwa and Von Essen. When it comes to the modules, he's got main battery module 2, steering gears module 2 and concealment system module 1. So very much focused into the concealment of your ship, which is quite nice. It's interesting to see that you've improved the gun range, the armor piercing penetration value and the uh, ricochet angles. Showing a bit broadside to the, uh, the enemy Nuremberg, which is quite dangerous. Um, however, the Nuremberg has been showing you a lot of broadside and you've been slapping it about a little bit. Getting a torpedo into the uh, Jervis, can't complain about that. Not sure if the Jervis has got torpedoes out, but if he hasn't got torpedoes out, then I think you're going to be okay. You've got your sonar on anyway. Probably time to use one of those repair parties. Torpedo launchers on the port side are currently incapacitated. Enemy torpedoes are spotted. Probably from the Nuremberg. Looks like she's just thrown some torpedoes out in a wild volley just in case she came towards her, but you've got to steer away. 
Finishing off the Nuremberg for your fourth, uh, fifth kill. But, uh, because it's airstrike mode, there's no medals, so we don't get a crack and unleash medal, unfortunately. So that just pretty much leaves one cruiser and one carrier on the enemy team. It looks like it's the Surrey and the uh, Ranger, so just the division. Now it's time to just keep following the, uh, the aircraft that keep coming towards you. And it's good to see that the pom-poms are doing their work and opening fire on the incoming torpedo flight. Shooting down two aircraft so far. Looks like, um, to be honest, I don't think you even needed to actually tr even work a dodge on those torpedoes. Those torpedoes have dropped so close to your ship that they didn't even arm in time. Shooting to yourself down another free aircraft. Okay, so there's only going to be one aircraft left in that torpedo flight. Now at the moment, looks like it's having a bit of a tangle with a uh, friendly fighter. And it's gone, you shot that one down too. So you just destroyed the entire flight of the torpedo aircraft. Um, wow, for no, for no risk to yourself, the enemy Surrey is now gone. So that just leaves the Ranger. Now obviously, uh, with the carriers and the test mode, their concealment was incredibly good. Probably time to use one of those repair parties. But yeah, the, uh, the carriers, it was interesting to see them. Um, and then, even though the carrier has been on the same flank as uh, Rebels Russian this entire game, it would appear, um, he hasn't really been affected by it. The uh, Rangers only tried one torpedo run against him and was able to drop off uh, one striker torpedoes at the cost of all the aircraft. And it looks like he's trying another flight of the uh, torpedo aircraft, getting himself four citadels on the uh, aircraft carrier, which is quite nice. Here, so, turn into the torpedo flight, because obviously you want to try and shorten the range between you and the torpedoes. And they only arm just as they get about halfway along your ship. Now at the moment, only you've been able to shoot down one aircraft out of that flight, make that two aircraft. It looks like there's bombers coming in as well. So you've got dive bombers. Drop ahead. However, they splashed far to your rear. And you're able to mop off the Ranger very nicely. So let's go to the end screen. Uh, this has been one of the very few submissions from Airstrike Mode that I have actually received. And um, it's interesting to see that this was mostly populated by players. Um, he managed to kill five enemy players and one enemy AI. So... Uh, when you take into account his scores, um, he still basically gets a crack and quite a decent amount of damage, getting 127,000 damage, 132 hits on target, 6 kills, 12 citadels, quite a lovely collection of ribbons there really, and uh, I think he completes the uh, the Born to Swim missions for the uh, airstrike mode during this game. But if you take the AI player uh, out from his kills and his damage, you could say he's quite easily achieved in excess of 100,000 damage and still gets a kraken basically um it's a shame that they didn't do medals in um airstrike mode but then again i guess they probably didn't want to do that because it probably would have made certain things a little bit easier going on to the team scores and you can see that obviously brothers russian runaway winner on his team with his six kills getting 3164 uh, ship xp um it did turn out that airstrike mode did actually turn out to be quite an efficient way of grinding out um, ship XP at one point, and uh, that's probably why quite a few people started to play it as well. It was interesting to see how the carriers didn't exactly impede on his gameplay too much, um, but I think the people playing the carriers at the time um, didn't have a lot of experience in carriers, and you can kind of tell by the way that two, the two torpedo drops that were done against his ship were from his uh, bow, uh, the torpedoes didn't arm until either they'd passed his ship or about halfway along the length of his ship. And when the dive bombers uh, came in, I think they activated their dive a little bit too late and ended up dropping way behind the ship, where they should have actually probably started their drop way ahead and then used the 15 seconds in order to allow themselves to range it in almost. Um, but uh, can't really complain about that, really. Uh, going on to the uh, economy screen, and he's managed to make himself 240,000 credits. Uh, and that's 
with just the ship service cost of 108,000 credits. So um, no premium, no boost, flags or anything like that, um, but still managed to make himself quite a nice, decent profit. Well, if you've enjoyed the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you enjoy this content, feel free to subscribe. I'd like to say thank you to all the subscribers as well. Down in the description is the commander build and the ship modules used by the player in this submission, along with a link to Patreon. If you want to support the channel on Patreon, it is a non monetized channel. And also the email address for the channel if you want to send in any of your own game submissions. Well, as always, until next time, I'm the guy from Major, and back to the port. Hey, hey, clear the way, here comes the galloping major. Keep up, keep up, keep up. Get out of the way there, you fellows. Unless you want me to run you down, I guess this is the life. Now, hey, hey, clear the way, here comes the galloping